Hello all, Havoc here. All right, so in the last episode, we were struggling to get through um, the Twilight Forest. And when we were in there, we are like, hey, what about the trees And for a new base? And Sean McGrill's like, yeah, the Batania tree. Yeah, that would be a cool idea. So let's go to Twilight Forest. Dude, dude. Okay. So, yeah, we're in the Twilight Forest, and let's go find one of those big, giant, epic trees. And he was asking, are those seven by sevens? I was like, I don't know. I honestly don't remember. So, while we're in here, I do want to bring up something with you guys. So, during last night's live stream, we, uh, let's see, where is it? Twilight Forest. Yeah, we kind of killed them all. Yeah. So, kind of got in a roll, got them all killed. So, but I swear I wasn't going to claim any of these here without you guys. So, here we are. We're claiming them all. Uh, we'll get the heads mounted up when we get back. Uh, we're thinking we'll put them on the side of the skull, I think, uh, where we have the other ones. So, we'll get the trophies mounted up there. So, the last one... My understanding is, is from reading this description, isn't one to go kill, I guess not to kill. I, I'm not sure. We're going to have to look into that a little bit more. But uh, he's really rare and hard to find. So, yeah. So we're going to have to work on that. Um, basically, it's a ram, and you have to give him all the different color wools in the game. And he gives you rewards. It's like, great. That sounds like a lot of not fun. So that's something we have to work on. Um, so we need to... Is that the one we want? No, that's the one we want right there. Do we want that one? Yeah, I think that would be pretty cool, don't you guys think? It'd be kind of cool if we could like get a builder and be like oh hey this is what i want so let's wreck this that didn't wreck very much did it it's hollow how does that happen how does one make a hollow tree So did we get saplings? That's the big thing. So we're going to test it here so we don't do it at our base and make a mess. Sickly twilight oak sapling. Is this guy sickly? Is, do we want a sickly tree? Hmm. I'm thinking it is the 7x7 seven seven style. Wow, look at all the fruit. All the deer down there eating up all our fruit. All right, let's get as much of this cleared up as possible. So that way when... That's some more saplings there. So we're going to need a stack of saplings. So we really need to make sure we're getting as much as we can out of this. All right. Well, looky, looky. There are one on, not only spawners up here, but there's chests too. Well, that's cool. I had no idea. I flew by these things. I don't. I bet you every single one of these is like that, isn't it? Nope. Curses foiled again. I wasn't for those meddling kids. All right. 
darkwood saplings. Oh, yes. See, I was looking for those when we were in there, remember? We'll take those. And that will be cool because we can put that into our uh, bonsai hopper. All right, let's get going on this because we want to get down there and collect the saplings we have on the ground within the next five minutes. So they'll despawn. Despawn. Get me to. There we go. There we go. So yeah, the Twilight Forest itself, the progression was pretty straightforward. It was not as hard as I was anticipating it to be. There were a few hiccups along the way. Um, we had to wiki a few pages of information a couple times because the progression didn't seem as forthgoing as possible. There were, I had to kill a couple of them over again. So that really wouldn't have worked out for us multiple times for recording purposes. So... Uh, yeah, I had to kill a couple of the bosses several times to get the trophies. So that was pretty frustrating because, um, well, yeah, we do it the way we're supposed to. wasn't cheating, and then it doesn't work. So... And boom. All right, so let's get these ones cleared out, I guess. Oh, let's get this one done. There we go. All right, so let's should be able to get down here. Let's turn a magnet on. Start getting those saplings collected. Oop, wrong button. Okay, so sickly twilight saplings. We have a stack of them now. Let's get to here. Hopefully we emptied our bag out. Not quite. But we're going to make some room. And then we'll use the garbage for the rest. Because if we're going to be coming here and harvesting trees, we really don't need to worry about that, right? Don't need the fruit. We'll keep the glow bugs and the cicadas for now. Let's pick up all the loots. All right, so we're doing good on the sickly saplings now. Uh, do we have a bucket of water on us still? Uh, a bucket of milk, I guess that would work, right? No. All right, let's go find some water real quick. <laughs> Um, oil's not going to work. Oh, there's water. There we go. And drop. Let's use this spot right here. I keep forgetting we can vein mine the grass, but I guess this is just as quick, I guess. Um, I don't know. Get out of here, guys. All right. So let's see here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do it by ten. Just and then we will grab our builder's wand, right? Let's throw that in here. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that didn't appear to have worked. Well, let's try sapling. Let's try being able to type. The miner's tree sapling, tree of time. Are there any mega saplings? Mega torches, right? Creeping moss. Hmm. Well, I'm interested in anybody's input on whether or not they know how to make these grow. Because this is where we're gonna. This is how we're gonna do our batania, and um, well, it's gonna be kind of important to be part of the process of making the tree. Is well, getting the tree. So um, again, so if anybody knows how to make these grow the way they do. I would be totally down for, uh, please comment below so we know how to make them. Because there's like four different types of trees out here that do this. Um, there's the sickly one. I guess that's what it's called, the twilight oak. Um, and then there's an actual oak one. And then there's a like a black zebra striped one. That guy right there. It does this as well. Um, So yeah, just uh, like I said, I'd be interested in knowing. So please comment below, canopy tree. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Oh, we're keeping the red orchid for the sakes of industrial hemp. We do not need and that we do not need. So we got some canopy tree saplings and some canopy wood. So yeah, I'm being, like I said, I'm interested. Just uh, drop a comment below on uh, what it takes to build them like that so we can make them. Because I need at least one. If I could build three of them and like uh, build it like in a, a triangle and spread Batania between the, all three of them in a canopy setup. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Just uh, need some input. Need some help. All the help. All the loves. I want to hit up this tree and see if we can get some more different saplings maybe out of it from that hidden chest that's in here. How do we find those chests easier? I guess would be... Hmm. Guess we're just gonna do this. Oh, come on, Avic. Boom, nailed it. Um, so I'm guessing those spider spawners and chests are in all of the trees like this. All right. 
All right, let's keep digging. Just keep digging, just keep digging. Oh, come on, saturation, keep up. Thank you. figure out where those are those are gonna be all right I guess not every tree has them. Well, that's kind of weird. All right, so yeah. Uh, so we learned a few things about the uh, Twilight Forest. Uh, one of the other things we did learn was um, there is no end boss. So to prove that out, we actually have some waypoints saved. So let's go to here. Wait for it to load. Wait for it to load. All right, so it's this way. So we're right outside the Dark Fortress. For, uh, forest. Yeah, that thing. And um, we beat the boss, and we couldn't go in there. For some reason, we still couldn't see. Um, so we wiki the uh, page, Zebtech and Nocturnal Llama, and found out that um, sometimes it just bugs, and you just have to use night vision. So we have a night vision ability totem on right now. That's why the night or twilight forest looks so bright in daylight. Just wonderful. Um, we're cheating. Ish. We're not cheating as far as um, like hacks cheating. We're just, you know, using an ability totem to see. So, um, so that was one thing we did learn. It was frustrating that we couldn't just, you know, go into it and do like we were supposed to, that we had to go to extremes of doing what we had to do. So, um, the other thing we were having an issue with was I wasn't able to get any of these saplings, which I really want some of those saplings. We ended up finding some in a chest just a little bit ago, but... Yeah, I harvested a ton of this sh uh, shrubbery and none of it um, gave us a sapling. Not one. So we don't need oak sapling. We don't need any peaches or plumps or pears or apples. So yeah, I, I just, I harvested a ton of this stuff and not once did I get a sapling from it. Just like how I just broke all that, not once. Um, I like the wood. I like what it does. And then uh, in the temple in the middle, this guy. Eventually. There we go. That's all made out of the dark oak wood. That's not dark oak, but it's the dark, dark wood. There we go. Um, so that color palette is pretty awesome. I really like it. So we're going to use that color palette for our um, greenhouse that we're building back at our base. So 
Now that we have some saplings to put into a hopper, that's going to be great because I actually started harvesting one of these. And um, yeah, so I was actually tearing up the fortress and then it's like, man, I really need to get some saplings. This will be much easier. But now we have saplings and we don't have to do that. So here's another fortress. Is this one we, uh, no, this one's intact. One of these, um, I got frustrated. I killed the lich twice, I think. And um, neither time did it give me the trophy. So we couldn't complete the quest. So I was getting really frustrated. So the third time I literally just came over here and just start wrecking the whole thing. So that happened. So not only did that happen, but then we also found out, as I was saying, there is no final boss. Final boss, let's go. There you go. <laughs> there is the final boss. So yeah, this is not set up yet. It's not done. Um, if you go to the wiki page, they explain to you how they're not done yet. And uh, there are multiple mini bosses here uh, where locations set up for them, but there's not, it's not all done. So it's a fantastic castle. It looks just beautiful and breathtaking from afar. Um, the lighted, the lit up blocks of different colors, like there's yellow, there's light blue, there's purple or pink. Uh, they just look fantastic. The castle structures are just beautiful and breathtaking. So that's why I wanted to take a minute to come here and show you guys. They put a lot of work into this and it's still not done. So, so we have a spot saved. Um, if we find out that they've updated for a final boss, then we will come back and check it out. So with that, are we done here? We are done here. We're done here because we have something to make. So first of all, I want to get a bonsai hopper going with uh, that tree because I really do like that wood. Uh, let's see. We need, do we have any? I think we have some over here real quick. Plop. I thought we had some in here. No, is it in here? There we go, two of them. Okay. Uh, we have some crates. Are they all smalls? They are all smalls. So let's grab two of those. Two pieces of dirt. Not that dirt. All right, so we've got the crates. We're just gonna throw these down right here for now. Actually, no, we're not. This is where our greenhouse is gonna be, so let's get them over here. Let's get our magnet turned off. Okay, I don't need to be picking up a bunch of random stuff. All right, so then you go here, here. Okay, and then we're gonna go one with the dark. Do we wanna do the canopy or the sickly? I'm gonna do the canopy because the sickly is so dominant in the forest. I was beginning to think that one wasn't going to grow. Oh, look at the way it grows, too. Hmm. I wonder if we could just do something cut. Oops. Really? Come on, Havoc. You can do better than this. Uh, 
this is the canopy one, so we'll do that to get that. There we go. And you're the dark wood, so we'll put that in there. They grow so slowly too. Look at that. Wow, that is super slow. All right, but we did get a piece of wood out of it, so. Let's put those in there and the rest we'll just put back in Emmy. All right. So we got something out of the Twilight Forest. As I said in my live stream, is probably the coolest thing in the Twilight Forest. Um, let's put all this away, that away. Let's put the rack away. We won't need that no more. Okay. This, the maze map focus. What it is used for is one specific thing that I like. It's got a couple recipes. It's got two. And one, it makes a map. See, it makes map. That's really cool. Then it makes this, the uncrafting table. The uncrafting table is fantastic. It does exactly what it sounds like. Place it down. Um, okay. It's a crafting table, right? Right. So let's take, oh, gold boots. Actually, let's see if we can do it to these dark steel boots. So you go over here, you put the item in here. Four, I get it looks like four XP. Oh, there's different recipes. Oh, this has changed. Hmm. Maybe it says damage, because I know damage usually has a problem with that. Hmm. All right, let's try something simpler. Well, geez. Well, this isn't working as I was hoping. So normally, you get to pull items back out. It breaks it. You don't get the uh, the item anymore. But usually you get all the stuff it's made up out of. What are you made of? Nothing. All right. I'm okay with that. Hmm. All right. So we need to look into it. Uh, but that is one of the cooler things that I've liked for a long time out of the twilight forest. Um, let's just go with something simple. Let's say a book, right? A book is simple. Let's see if this will work. Hmm. Yeah, we need to look into see how it works now because So I give it 6 XP. I'm fine with that. I mean, I can give it 6 XP. 6 levels. Give me Just give me the stuff. Yeah, before what you would do is you would take, let's say the armor. You put that in here. And you would literally just pull it out. And once you pull one out, this item vanishes. So unless you collect all of it, you're not getting it back. So... It might be disabled in this mod pack as well. That could be part of it. But in any case, that has been one of my favorite things for the longest time. Especially when you start getting into having like armor sets that you really don't need. So jade boots. We pull the jade out of it. Or lapis. Do the same thing. Pull the lapis out. So 
it was really cool way of getting things taken apart and putting things to use that you just weren't using. So yeah, I see nothing there. So, uh, let's see, what else can we look at just to see? Um, let's get rid of that. An Electrum sword. Is that a, uh, can we see the recipe for that? A stick and a nothing. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's that's but that's one of my favorite things in, in Twilight Wars. It, obviously, it, it sucks that I can't showcase it actually working, but um, yeah, that's hmm. Yeah, it's kind of frustrating. Yeah, it must be disabled or something. So I have to figure it out. If it is disabled, then we'll probably find where it is disabled and re-enable it because I don't understand why it would not be disabled. Um, let's see. Nope and nope. No child mods. No child mods. All right. Well, in the case, it looks cool, right? So that's that, and let's see. Um, we're going to, um, oh, the blocks for the, um, uh, greenhouse, yes, that's the word. Um, let's go here. Where did we put our bag at? Did I put our bag away again? Yes, I did. Uh, have it, come on. All right, let's grab this out, grab this out. Because I'm pretty sure they're in here. Yes, there they are. So it's those and these. So these are gonna be the blocks we're gonna use for this. Um, like I said, I just, I thought they were cool. And they have a definite, a definite uh, style to them that I think is gonna make, make use for it. I mean, it's gonna look cool, I think. So I think these are gonna be cool for the border because that's how they were used over there as well. And then these are gonna be our uh, our inlaid panels. And I'm gonna use chisel and bits. I'm gonna knock these in so they're not gonna be a full, a full depth uh, piece. And then we'll find us, uh, uh, probably use these. I don't know, we'll, we'll see, something like that. And then uh, they'll have a glass roof. Um, I'm looking into trying to craft these up because uh, we need a couple hundred of them. That's a lot. Uh, that's a lot of villages to go pillage just to get one. So we'd have to find a lot of villages in the hunting dimension. And that, again, that, 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 that's a lot of villages. So, so greenhouse glass. Um, basically, we just get, get the empower set up from actually additions <clears throat> and then find a way to make prismarine. So, um, guardian seeds, we need guardian chunks, which we don't have access to guardians. So, it's kind of a loop, it looks like. Oh, wait, no, it's not a loop. We can't make prismarine. I totally forgot. Atomic reconstructor. Okay, so we'll just make these. Uh, we just do have to get the empower set up. That's not that big a deal. Um, it's pretty easy to make. We just need some cyan dye, which we can go and get from multiple locations now. We have different dimensions to go to. So, yeah. And then... I heard you. Where are you? So the cool part... Bye, guys. <laughs> um... I believe it was Elysium pointed out that if we added a tether, you can't really see it in there. But if we added a uh, ender tether to the inside of there, every time a enderman tries to teleport, it pulls them to where the tether is. And so far, I I have messed with enderman clear over there at the wither killer, and they still got pulled into there. You saw those guys? Yeah. They were trying to peace out, and the tether says nope and pulls them right inside the kill box. So the tether is sitting right... 
that one guy. Um, the tether is sitting directly on top of the mob grinder. So, yeah. We're missing one vector plate. Um, Havoc may have gotten a little excited with the pick and broke an extra block by mistake. So a vector plate got broken in the process. Let's see how we're doing on inventory. We're doing pretty good. So we need to go do some upgrades on the um, Friender Pearls. Where is it sitting at? Oh yeah, it doesn't have an upgrade. So we need to upgrade this guy all the way. Do, do, do. So we're gonna go with, let's get this out of the way and that out of the way. So we need iron, iron, gold, diamond, infinite. And this is pretty much how I've been finding out which ones need the upgrades is just check with the box and whatever we get backlogged on, we just run out there and throw the upgrades on that one. So that way we're not having to upgrade every single one if it's not needed. So, and then there we go. We're not backlogged anymore. So I know the, the drawers have the combining item one. But once this hits infinite capacity, it, it doesn't matter anymore. See, like that's at 65,000. So we can go ahead and throw the other two upgrades on that. And we'll never have to worry about enderpearl storage again. So we'll need, I think, the diamond and infinite. I think it already has a gold upgrade on it. So let's find out. Yep, it did. So we'll never have to worry about enderpearl storage ever again. So the bat wings are full. I want to double check we don't have two of those by chance. Because we got that one. Yeah. So let's get an upgrade on this one. So yeah, we do have two of these. All right. We don't have two of those though. All right. So we need some gold and some iron. This one. So that's pretty cheap storage for infinite storage. And then this one here, we need to get moved to the other side and get something else to populate it instead. Oh, we already have one for ironing. It stopped that. Uh, we do not have one for sugar though, so I'm okay with that. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Looks like some records or something, especially because they look like they're spinning. So this one is set up for infinite too, so. Yeah, that's all of them. So yeah, pretty sure we don't have one for sugar. I, that, I'm guessing that is niter, okay. No. Oh, we do. All right, let's see if we can get that to change over to something else. Cave spider trophies, yeah, I think we're good on that one. <laughs> I don't think we have cave spider trophies. No, we have spider trophies, but not cave spider trophies. All right, so let's get this guy an upgrade, and so it'll go in there now. So iron, gold, diamond. Iron, gold, diamond. And infinite. There we go. So uh, one of the seeds I'm going to get working on next is going to be the nickel seed so we can start getting these this building finished. Uh, I really do want to get this thing done. Um, now that I'm getting chisel and bits a little bit more practice with it, it's going to be a lot easier than I had anticipated. Um, it, we just literally just drag a box and it draws the plane. So it's a lot easier than I had thought. 
Uh, we only have three nickel blocks. <laughs> nickel block. It almost sounds like I said something else. Um, so yeah, it's going to be pretty straightforward once I get enough nickel. But we're out right now, and so I'm going to make a seed for that. So once we get our farm a little bit more established, because that's, that's coming along pretty awesome. Right now, I don't think we have our bone mealer on. We don't. So this is legitimately how it's growing all the time. Without us here, this is the rate it's growing at. So, yeah, we're doing good. I mean, for passive, always going essence, that's, yeah, nothing to scoff about, that's for sure. Let's see how much we're up to. 4,000, 4,000, 5,000, 5,000. So, yeah, that's pretty good. So, all right, we're going to wrap up the episode here. Uh, I'm going to do some live streaming here in a little bit. And uh, today's live stream is going to be focused on, well, the farm. We're going to start getting some uh, mechanical users made and get started getting some more of the uh, seeds in place, starting with nickel, so we can get that done in our next episode. Thanks very much for everybody coming out. All the new subscribers that are joining the channel, I love it. It's fantastic. Keep the comments coming, especially about if you guys know how to make the mega trees, because <laughs> um, that's what I want to build over there. I want to build a giant mega tree, and I don't really want to do it by hand because, well, we have a, a builder's wand, but still, that's that'd be awesome if we could just sculpt one like a bonsai tree versus having to handcraft the entire thing. So, what? What? No, sorry. Um, not welcome. Thank you. Oh, he got close, but he, he didn't go in. What? Is he glitched? Not anymore. <laughs> Again, thanks everybody for watching. I, I just... The amount of uh, growth we've had in the last couple of weeks is fantastic. And I can't wait for it to continue to grow and us to continue to develop and move on. With that, don't forget to go over to Twitch and Twitter and all the social links that I have in the down there. Uh, follow me on all those platforms. You can reach me wherever you need to, wherever you want to. So thanks much for being here. This is Havoc. Have fun and keep gaming.